So Kelly, talk to us about your round today and how the golf course was playing. Well, the golf, golf course is definitely better than yesterday. And I didn't really get it going, you know, when I was studying. But Michelle went really well studying, so I didn't really worry about it. And, you know, I bought it 17 and 18, I mean, 16 and 17, and almost hold my last birdie part. And three birdies for the day, is, I think it's good enough for the team. And, you know, I played solid today. Yeah. How's it feel with Malaysia making a charge today? Yeah, we actually coming here, you know, just trying to have some fun, you know. Four of us, our first time here for the Spirit Cup. No expectation, you know, just enjoy ourselves. And I think that's, that was the most important thing for us. Perfect. So were you and your partner kind of feeding off each other out there? Um, well, as I said, Michelle started off really good. So I was just kind of going, you know, just mm -hmm. play along. And then I came in the last couple of holes, so that really helped the team. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, Michelle, why don't you go ahead and walk us through your round today? Um, so I have I have five birdies today. Uh, I had them on, I, we had, me and Kelly actually had a birdie on 17. And then I birdied um, eight, through, eight through 10. So that was a good stretch right there. And uh, I birdied one also. So uh, I really, I really had fun out there today. Um, I think the course was still playing a little tough because of the, the conditions, a little soggy, a little wet. But you know, I truly enjoyed myself out there a lot more today. And the putting green was, was truly, truly, truly good. Yeah. So talk us through that little slew of birdies on eight, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, you know, I, I started off, I started off well. And then I sort of went into a, a rhythm where I, I sort of lost it a little bit. And then, you know, coming through seven, I hit the green, missed a putt. But then going into eight, I sort of had another another good shot. And then I sank the putt, and then it just came rolling in. Mm -hmm. And it was it was so that, you know, my, my, my team captain came to me, asked me, oh, you had you just had three birdies. And, and me and Kelly were like, really? <laughs> you know, so it was it was a good roll. It was a good roll. And, uh, you know, I, I'm glad I'm glad it happened. And with her playing so well yesterday and, and the four birdies in the Eagle yesterday, how, did that kind of get you fired up to come and play today? Mm -hmm. it, it truly did. Uh, yesterday I felt like I wasn't much of a help and I told myself that, you know, I got I to gotta buckle up. I got I to gotta stay, I got to stay, you know, with Kelly and I got to help her out and we, we, we're going to get this. Yeah. So what do you guys do after the round today? Um, me and Kelly probably gonna head on to the range and probably do some putts and then we're probably gonna go for karaoke and call it a night. So Gavin, talk to us about your round today. To be honest with you, I didn't really play that well. I mean, I got I got off to a rough start, but I mean, in the middle of the round, I kind of got it going a little bit, got a couple of birdies and then I just stayed patient. I just, you know, keep hitting good iron shots, put in the fairway, put in the green, I mean, that usually works out for me, but it's been it's been pretty smooth all two days. I mean, considering I don't have a practice round, it's coming straight to the event, but it was pretty solid, though. Um, today's round was pretty pretty solid, I would say. So if you didn't play that well today mm -hmm. and you played just kind of solid today, what can we expect out of you tomorrow? I mean, if I hit the if I hit the fairways and then if I hit the greens and then miss it on the right and don't short sight myself, I'll be fine. I mean, could, I could go low. I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Every course is possible, but if you if you do well and if you place it right and you get the putter going, it's it's you can go deep here. With the fairways being as soft as they are, mm -hmm. do you feel like the course is playing in a good position? Is it re is the are the greens very receptive? Yeah, I mean the greens are all good, and the fairways, I mean they're soft, but it's soft for everybody else, so there's really not much different. Not th nothing you can do about it. You just gotta play it soft. That's all. Okay, so you have to walk us through 18. Oh, 18. Well, uh, my t I, I, pl I plan to play like a little cut off the tee over over the top and pull it left. So I thought it was in the water. I was like, oh, it's my partner's hole. Next thing you know, he hits it in the bunker. And I'm like, oh, God, I got to find this ball. <laughs> so, and I find my ball. I'm like, I have a little gap on the left. It's like a small, maybe like a five-foot gap in the trees. So, I, it was like 153 yards to be exact. And I had a small gap in the tree, and I told my caddy, I was like, "You think pitching wedge would get, like, was is it high enough, or you think nine iron is is it is that high enough?" Or he was like, "Well, you pick it." I'm like, "All right." Um, I'm like, "I think we'll go with the nine iron, just you know, just so that it gets there and don't be short because you don't want to be short on that mm -hmm. hole." Yeah. So I was like, "Anything over and left, you're fine." 
And I'm like, oh, this is a bubble cut right here. Because he loves to cut the ball, and I fucking love to cut the ball. So, and he cuts it, and he goes, and I go, oh, man, this is good. This hope is not short. And then it just lands and rolls. I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I've never done something crazy like that, but that's pretty close. Well, we saw it up at the green. very receptive to it. Now, how, talk about the putt. Well, the putt, it, I got it kind of confused because it broke. It breaks right at start and breaks left at the end. So I'm like, well, I'm just thinking whether it breaks more right or does it break more left. So I'm thinking my partner putted it and it just went dead straight. So I'm thinking it just, it's pretty straight. It's a pretty straight putt, it's definitely inside the hole. And I started just outside, just like an inch left or a little more than an inch where I wanted to start and it just broke off. And I, was, I mean, it's a good putt, just that I didn't hit it exactly the way I wanted to. But it's okay. I mean, part is good on this hole. After the drive, considering my drive pulling in, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's in the water. I'm like, oh god. But then, par overall, par is a good score. I'm happy with it. So you guys in today? I know USA is still out on the course. Yeah. But you're two behind. You're in in a good position. So what do you do getting ready for tomorrow? I mean, well, f personally for me, I'm I'm just gonna hit some putts just to get you because I'm not really used to the greens yet. So I'm just gonna you know just get a couple more putts going and then maybe hit a couple of drivers because driver was not as good today as it could be but but that's about it I'm just gonna work on those two but yeah that's about it really get some rest we didn't get enough rest but we'll get more rest today so the USA has won this back-to-back -back times you feel like Malaysia's the team to knock them off we'll see tomorrow I mean I think if me and my partner just do what we're supposed to do I think we should be fine so we'll just see what happens I mean they're a good team and they're both in, I mean they're both good players and we can't expect them to do bad we got just we just got to do better that's all now with the girls playing as well as they played today do you feed off that do you talk to them when you're out there uh, yeah we just we just kind of compared around and see you know what's what's going on and we just see what we can pick from them and what they can pick from us it's a little different because they're up on the upper tees and it's just it's just a little different but I mean we try to compare stuff sometimes so Abel, talk to us about your round today. Um, I hit it pretty good, but didn't pull off the shots that I, I, I could have pulled off today. Should have. Um, but you know, credits to Gavin. He, he played pretty well the last couple of days. You know, I just I was I was very safe the last couple of days. I, I was just putting in the pass and so that he can you know he hits it long, so mm -hmm. he can be more aggressive with his shots and it's paid off so far. So does that change how you play, knowing you've got somebody like Gavin to kind of um, in that definitely. regard? Definitely. I mean, this is uh, this is not really an individual van, you know. So um, we've got to put all the personal parts, you know, personal side of the game aside. So it's been it's been a new you know new look in in my golf, but you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it very much. So what do you do you have a game plan when you guys go out and say at the beginning of the tee for who's going to be aggressive and who's It was quite I was quite shocked with the way we played yesterday because Gavin just arrived on Tuesday night and you know we didn't have much to talk about but you know I got him around the golf course he didn't have a practice round um but it went pretty well yesterday I got to say um you know I I did what I have to do he he did what he had to do really well so yeah so far it's been good so three birdies yesterday, correct? Yes. So you guys were kind of ham and egging it yesterday, correct? Yeah, he he had five and he even picked up one uh, because I made the birdie and then he thought that he didn't have to make it anymore, so he picked it up. But so you told him pretty quick about how the competition competition works? Yeah, but he, he, he just forgot about it, so yeah, he, he picked it up. <laughs> he was pretty pissed. But <laughs> so what do you guys do from here? Um, what do you mean, like, after this, when we go home, or...? No, what do you guys do to get ready for tomorrow? What are you going to do after practice? Um, hang out in the Odin Hall. So what's your guys' <laughs> What's your mind frame going in tomorrow with the chance to knock out the, the two-time... We're going to try to keep it the same. Um, I've got no complaints about the way we played the last couple of days. Uh, though, I mean, personally, it can get a lot better, but the way we combine and... We made a few mistakes, but it'll happen. You know, mistakes happen. It's all part of golf, so, yeah. So with all the rain and everything the past couple of days, how's the course playing? It's beautiful, I got to say. I mean, yesterday was a little bit difficult. I mean, it was really wet, really long. I'm not the longest hitter out there, so uh, it was a bit difficult for me. But it was really good. 
I mean, the, the condition today, the greens, the way they, even after so much rain, the way they prepare the greens, beautiful. Are they faster than you think? A lot faster, a lot faster than what we what we used to in, in Malaysia, probably two times faster, you know. So <laughs> some of the parts that we get, we, you know, we hit it a bit too hard, but we get used to it.